Okay, this is a review of the Hipco & Becker Street Soft bags. But one of the reasons that I've chosen these bags is because they're pretty streamlined. Um, they're only about 11 litres each. They're quite small, so it makes it pretty easy for lane splitting. They're soft bags and they're pretty tidy. I think pretty good quality. Okay, so here we go. Uh, Hepco Becker Street Soft, which I ordered some time ago. Uh, I got the bags, but I've had to wait some time to finally get the racks. And yes, they've turned up. Quality stuff, made in Germany. And I'm thinking that these SIBO frames might be just as ideal as well. Okay, so we've got the destructions. The, the bags go onto, you can see on the back of the bags here where it goes like that. You get more advertising. quality stainless fittings, stainless washers. Put them on the bike and then uh, next week we might even be doing a trip to dry them out. So we'll have to see what happens. They have a pocket on the front here. You can put documents and whatever else in here. It's a very large pocket. Uh, it's all lined and they have a pretty solid, a nice zipper, a waterproof zipper in fact, so you can see that you get a pretty good seal there, um, although they are soft bags so they're not going to be entirely waterproof. You have the main compartment, um, as you can see they also come with a uh, shoulder strap, the shoulder strap can be connected to each D-ring and each side of the, the bags, not so easy to do with one hand. Uh, so when you take them off the bike, you can use them like any shoulder bag, um, yeah, a little bit urban but never mind, <laughs> still can be convenient. They also have uh, a grab handle, carry handle as well, so it makes them pretty convenient to be able to get on and off the bike. Uh, I must admit the quality of the, the build is pretty good. Uh, there's also a zipper at the back here uh, that you can unzip back and as you can see here's all your connections for the SIBO mounting system at the back of the bags. So uh, it keeps those covered up and uh, makes it easy if you want to, if you need to do any running repairs on the uh, rack, on the mounting system on the bags for the rack, you have a really good solid zipper. Solid zipper with a really good waterproof seal. Um, like everything though, it's, nothing's 100% waterproof. They also have on the zippers a locking mechanism where if you put these together you can put a lock through here just a little a little security lock and that way you at least can lock up your, your bag so that no one can get into the bags and steal your stuff and they're also lockable to the rack so pretty simple system unlock that and bag should just slide straight off. Uh, that's the SIBO system. It distributes the load over the rack and on the bag really evenly. This is the, the rack itself. I'll get to the mounting points in a moment. 
and the mounting bracket on the back of the bag slides over the SIBO rack presses down onto the uh, locking mechanism and then you can just lock it on so security wise it's pretty good you can lock the bag to the racks you can lock the zippers up as well so that no one could get to the contents so yeah thought it's pretty well thought through now the only issue that I do have with these is there's just not too many mounting points on an MT-07 for these for any racks quite frankly so what they've done here is uh, you've got a plate that mounts onto pillion foot pegged mounting points and then you have this point where you have a pretty solid nut welded onto the back of that mounting bracket that these hex head bolts go right through so that's one arm that comes through and you can see the mounting point here and here on the SIBO rack there's two 10 mil bolts that go through the mounting points on the rack to the SIBO you get a better view of it here so you have a mounting bolt here and a mounting bolt here going through to the SIBO this is a little bit rough and ready but you can see that this is the mounting point that goes up under the rear pillion seat to the subframe so there's really only one bolt that goes right through there the only issue that I have with this rack is the angle of these brackets when they were welded in the jig are not quite right and it's put a little bit of stress on the mounting points here and here on the SIBO rack itself. The SIBO is uh, cast aluminium so I'm just a little bit worried that after a considerable amount of use and vibration and bouncing around over lumps and bumps and whatnot on the road and on trips that eventually it might strip the threads out of the uh, cast alloy on the SIBO system mainly because um, the angle of these brackets weren't quite right when they welded them so these bolts are under a bit of stress in the mounting points both of these in fact uh, so not terribly happy with that I expected a little bit better from Hepco Becker but all the same for an MT-07 it's got it's a very small bike it's got very few mounting points for any racks this is pretty solid now what did come with the bags is these waterproof liners and to be really honest Hepco and Becker these waterproof liners are a bit of a joke they have velcro strip on them here as you can see uh, so that when you do put them into the bag you can velcro them to each side of the bag okay so the problem with these bags is they have a draw cord top as you can see just a draw cord and a normal toggle like every other kind of bag liner but you just cannot pull this draw cord up around it just doesn't slide now I don't know what they've made, what kind of nylon they've made this out of but really that's about that's about as tight as you can get this draw cord and personally I just think this is an utter waste of time and a waste of product um, you can't draw it up any tighter than that which means you can't close the top properly you can't gooseneck the top and make it a, a more waterproof or as waterproof as it ought to be you can also see the uh, seam sealing is it's really cheap and really nasty seam sealing I've, I've seen far better seam sealing on on uh, very cheap raincoats so really the liner uh, is a joke and Hepco Becker you should be embarrassed about that uh, really you just throw them in the bin they're a waste of utter waste of time uh, they're just going to be a bag that will fill up with water and and hold water and and uh, ruin all the contents that's in there so useless what I have done however is I just bought a 15 litre uh, roll top um, dry bag a 15 litre fits perfectly into the bag and it makes for keeping your gear perfectly dry another thing is this strap uh, you have mounting points here where you can connect this strap like so do the same on the other side nicely hidden away tucked away in there so it can't get in the way just attach that one as well so what you have pull that up some of the load will be shared by the strap running across your pillion seat 
The only thing I think they could have thought through there was had a little bit of Velcro so that you can Velcro these down out of the way uh, and that they won't be a problem. Uh, again, hmm, probably could have thought it through a little better. Uh, I'm, if you're going to be having someone sitting on the pillion seat, they're, they're going to be sitting on those buckles the way that this is, this is set up uh, with the length that they are at the attachment points. But other than that, that's a, another nice thought and design feature of the bags so that the bags and this strap can bear some of the load, particularly when you're going over some pretty big bumps. So, all in all, I think it's a pretty good setup. So, <laughs> overall impressions of the bags, overall impressions of the mounting system. I think the build quality is pretty good. Uh, I think the bags will do exactly what they're supposed to do. Uh, I think the distribution of the load over the racks is uh, pretty well thought through, uh, but I think that they could have spent a little bit more time uh, getting the welding of the mounting points of the SIBO rack onto the, uh, the mounting bars, uh, getting those right, spending a little bit more time on getting the angle of those right so that the, uh, the bolts mounting the SIBO plate to the hangers is not under stress. I can just see that being a bit of a problem further down the road. Uh, so all in all, pretty impressed. Yet to take them out on a big trip, uh, but we'll do that soon enough. So for the money, I think pretty good quality. Okay, let's keep riding.